Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I'll bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Trade? Was nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what Body was parts? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. You said, well, what the weird in the butt? Was, the well, what what a Turian in the butt? Was still I alive said, well, what was very in the butt? He'd never lost his liver. After a bit Hi, of digging, I discovered this Turian briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development, but there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan kidding, testicles? Right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Big balls? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000. I can't believe... Set. He, we're talking about balls. A killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Good thinking. Blackies are always easier to scare. Exactly. Though in this case, it paid off in a different way. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a I mean, full exam bleeding. to find out what was going on. I would freak out too. Found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees; they were test tubes, walking, living test tubes. That's sick. He was growing parts inside these people. Organ regeneration exactly. inside people. How's my bank holiday? No it's been right good. Uh, last two days, I replenished my glycogen stores. The AKA I ate rice. Pay them each a small and then today I went to the gym. Only if the and the guy who does the ab chucks was there. And then I think I caught him with a yellow bubble on his phone, which means to me that he was on Grinder, but I could not find him on my grid. So I was like, how? I hope he got what he deserved. That's How is he messaging people? Difficult. Did he block me? What happened? So I think I really just need to like give him my business card and Why not? What the hell happened? Ask him to just text me because I'm a he big ran. pussy because I don't Blue talk to lab, people at the gym unless they approach me first. With the nearest space dock. By the time I Blue is the lab! Was already leaving. He threatened to kill I did lots of laundry this week. But you went after him anyway, right? I did I my like months worth of laundry on Saturday, and then the today I washed all my sheets. I put in new sheets, such because like my old sheets were getting down. discolored. If you blocked me, the business card move anyway. is a king move. Just use them to make it stresses me out. They wouldn't listen. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got. But away. the thing is, is that he still looks at me. I pass by him I and I catch him looking at me. This has been happening and for the boss. last. He said, week. "If I didn't like it, I could quit." Well, I almost did. He All was doing do like was disable that ship, fifty sets of pull-ups, and I'm like, "How is he die? still Maybe doing pull-ups?" And I just we blew through my entire chest and triceps workout. It's not the cute Latino guy. This is a different guy. This is a. A bearded white dude. He looks like he just recently graduated from Princeton. He's very lean. He has nice calves. And I think he's a little young. I think he's like 24. Because I think I've seen him with a shirt that says Princeton 2018. Which is why I'm like, do I need to wear clothes so I can like talk to him <laughs> to say something? Today I wore a long sleeve shirt that said 
New England volleyball on it. And I'm like, there's nothing that cute for me to look about. But it was cold when I went to the gym. It was like 50 degrees when I got there. And when I left, it was like 70. But like, he needs to stop playing these games. He's young. I'm 30. He's 24. Young. I'm old. I have two broken knees. Desperation me? Yeah. I am. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? It was 50 I degrees! from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name. I'm trying to Dr. get Garrus' side mission. Joke, I, guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for Desperation is a side effect of being fully vaccinated. We all need a Hercus again. And he's like I'll check out the He's like not masked too. I was hoping and say, I'm masked. Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Leon, I want to be Cuz I I'm not that comfortable not wearing a mask indoors yet. All right, I got his mission, right? Will it will it show up? Yeah, Garrus. Find Dr. Stallion in the Herschel system in Kepler Versh. Mask? In this pandemic? Oh. Kathy, look what I got. It's my my tech reunions box that I'm not gonna go to because it's completely virtual this year. But it's also it would be my nine year, so my ten year would be no oh my god, my ten years next year. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I don't want to go there. I knew they'd come around. Back to the I Citadel, I don't want to go to the Citadel! I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. God fucking damn it. I have business to take care of, and being at the Citadel is not it. You love a good unboxing? At least it teleported job, me Shepard. there. Thanks to you, the Consul's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? I'm going to choose like every mean interaction with them because the I don't like commander. the council. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome. I was just upset that I couldn't war. hang up on them the last now time. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You Sounds like every man on Grinder without a face pick. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. I, they're not Secrecy gonna be able to weapon. do it. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from Why his Why is he hiding the vagina the on his head, the dude that's talking? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's when is the new Pokemon the game going to be released for Switch? Only you swear you saw something on Twitter this week. Reapers. So they're re-releasing Diamond and Pearl in November of this year. The and of then the, the Arceus game is going to be next year, I believe, to go in to January. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here. Dude, Shepard. old fucking man, you, you hate me, so why are you, you still trying to vouch for me? November, worth. that's a ways away. You I mean, you're selling us out. The Pokemon company always releases something, always it's releases something for Commander. the Christmas You've done your job now, holiday. Do mine. But I don't the think they're that capable of doing HD development the after Shepard. developing for handhelds for their entire career. Nobody stabs me in the back, Odina. Nobody. We're excited to play it on the Switch despite the shitty graphics. I think it's I, time for you and your team to leave. Come I was really off-put no by Let's Go Pikachu you. and Eevee and 
with my by Sword and Shield, so I don't really see myself buying another Pokemon game for a while. Uh, what did Udina say about me, and why do I look so twinky? Commander, I've What's got a message with my, from Captain Anderson. My body. Oh, 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 that's such crash, trash, trash, trash animation. This year's zooming by. November's gonna be here so soon. Are you spying on me, I mean, me, Joker? June's here all of a sudden. No, I'm supposed sir. to get. Just knew you were on the ship and figured the I'd lower pass the abs. That's on. not happening yet. The captain said to meet him at Flux. That I got another pound words. to go. And then the ab checks. Are we really going now? Now? Can I not do the side missions right now? What's going on? Very confused. You only like Sword and Shield because of all the features you wanted with the wild area, but they need to improve it a lot more. They need to be able to, to include all 700 Pokemon. They need to be able to have it run without shitty frame rates and be like a real video game company. It's, it's not working for me. It needs to be a lot better. Hand it over to Bandai Namco. They did a good job with Pokemon Snap. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I don't need to be here. Do I need to be here? Can I just go back on the ship? Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Oh, yeah. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Uh, I don't want to be here. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. All right, while they're forcing me to run through the Citadel, I'm going to open this box. Serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. Open the Prime. bottom. For it has a nice little alumni thing right here. In the military, please visit the a bunch of numbers on the bottom, the which I don't care keyword, about. Courage. Oh, look! Oh, this is cute! This is like confetti. That's like a uh, zigzaggy confetti. And then there's a card in here that is... Celebrate tech reunions wherever you are in the world. Thank you for being a part of tech reunions We hope this party box adds flair to your home and that tech reunions helps you stay connected to your classmates and to the Institute No matter how far you are from the campus Has a little pin It's a cute little pin and It looks like a bunch of postcards if I can open this up in the packaging I don't know why they pinned it through. Oh no, it's it's hard. It's like particle board. It's not a postcard. I wonder why they did that. But it's a nice pin, 2021 pin. Uh, MIT reunion is virtual because Corona virus. All right. And they wrapped everything individually in tissue paper. This is rich. I wasn't expecting this. All right. So this looks like it's sealed so that oh they're packaged separately the lid has its own tissue paper that's that's a lot so this is the wine goblet so i can be drunk <laughs> has a nice little rubber seal there's nothing that covers this up top but you know it, it'll help prevent major spillage you're from the UK, so none of this is to you, but as MIT one of the top universities in the US, some may say that. Um, I'm being humble. This is the, the blue light glasses, so if it's supposed to block blue light, but <laughs> it makes me look like a fucking nerd. I thought there, the, oh wait, there is branding, just that's it. That's all it is for the branding. But this is the blue light blocker thing. 30, blocks up to 31% blue light. That's cool, they do a reunion each year. Kind of, sort of. Some may say the world. Yes. That's, that's, that's accurate right there. 
All right, what else is in here? I got my little cozy. This is Tim the Beaver, everyone. You're welcome to have me use this today. What is this? A webcam cover? I don't need it, but it's really tiny. And I don't see this covering my webcam at all. It's like a sticker, but it swivels. They do a reunion each year and I, it's usually every five years for your class though. But you could just show up. <laughs> what did I study there? I studied, me not mechanical engineering. <laughs> I'm not good enough for that. Um, study computer science. I did not do electrical engineering because I am what? Too dumb. For all that math. I mean, for a laptop that would cover your camera, it wouldn't cover mine, but yeah, for a laptop. This is the MIT mask that I'm gonna wear at the gym tomorrow. <laughs> Just so bitches could be like, ah, oh, that bitch. Yes, truly that bitch. Uh, too dumb for mechanical engineering. There's no way I could do mechanical engineering. Computer science, yes. CS, just CS is 6.3. This is a um, coaster, MIT coaster. It's like real hard tile with a nice little cork board on the back to not fuck up everything. So I could use that for my morning coffee. Came in this nice little cardboard thing. And at the bottom, I thought this would be fucking bigger. It's tiny and they bent it. Look, look at the kinematic artifact. I can, I, you can hire me to do the Arizona audit, but I've never had one of these before. So I'll put it somewhere there, a pennant. And then is that it? I think that's it. There is so much confetti in here. The MIT face mask is key to getting the Jim Bearded guy to tap that ass. He better. <laughs> Cause I see him wearing his Princeton shirt and I'm like, well, I gotta fucking one up this motherfucker and be better than him. That's the only way I can talk to people. Whenever I'm at like a gay volleyball tournament, I don't talk to them unless I beat them at volleyball and then I get drunk enough to talk to them at the bar and be like, so I beat you today, even though that sounds smug as fuck. <laughs> and then I, but I still want to suck your dick. Okay. That's cute. I think that was worth, except for the, uh, the webcam thing. You can have that. If you need another one, you can take mine. I have to meet with Anderson in the wards at Flux. He may be able to help me get off Citadel. Alright, let's finish this thing. Suck dick as compensation for your lock. Yeah, the box is cute, but you're trash because you don't check your email often enough so you didn't get one. But I announced it on my Twitter. You know who bought one? Crystal bought one. Okay, though, where am I supposed to go, though? Go into the nightclub where like everyone died. They're really gonna fucking shoot me. Kaiden? The dude just got thrown down the stairs and he's not miffed? Yeah, what is it? What happened? You tossed out of there. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. Were you card counting? If he says you're cheating, you cheat. There's a line in the bottom of the email, so you didn't see that until they were sold out. Oh, they sold out. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. 
but this device is merely intended to simulate oh my god my ears are going crazy because when they swap the angle of who's talking of the camera angle the the club music goes from my left ear to my right ear and then back and forth why do you need to record these outcomes ah now you're getting to the heart of it I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that oh illegal? my god, this is go system, making me go crazy! <laughs> the swapping audio channels! I just need a few more wins recorded. What's in this for me? Is this a side mission? That should be payment enough, I think. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was So w w why my does he want me to use it? It will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. I mean, if this allows me to shoot people inside the Citadel, let's go. Well, recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, oh. if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. Actually, is this part of the mission, or is this, like, something else entirely? What did you hear exactly? War rumors about strange metal creatures with I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard that. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't. I've up. never seen Captain Anderson in these. Know, but we both know it's not. Plain you clothes. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. Please do it. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you... I mean, he was a Spectre candidate. He could do it. Online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. I mean, his computer... You stand by while you use his computer. You knock him out. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. You got any ketamine? <laughs> forgive this, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. Either that, or it's the end of the we universe. Don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador has made this person. Yeah, the old bitch got to worry about the next 15 minutes and not the next 50 years. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Thank God. I hope you don't die, sir. But if you have, or if you will, I'm sorry. And to that dude that got kicked out of here, I don't give a fuck. Now pardon me, soldier. Nope. I don't give a fuck, Elias. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. Tell me more, tell me more. Could you get me an elevator, please? In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with Our clubs are all reopened in New York? Yes, but I haven't really been to one. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. It's a different way of doing acting. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson, what are you doing here? Dude, break his neck. Yes! Fuck off, bitch! Oh, hi, face. Get 
us out of here, Joker. Now. I'm not joking, bitch. Thanks, Captain. You're a real G. I hope I never have to see the Citadel ever again. In the UK, the date is June 21st, but the variant is about to cause a fourth wave, so likely that may push it back. Oof. Well, hopefully the way things are happening there, things may lighten up a bit. Keplevesh. In terms of like vaccinating everybody with the first dose and then having to wait, what, 10 weeks for the second dose? Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Former scientists? Sounds like someone has a project they'd like to keep secret. All four scientists... I know too much. ...project on a coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. Hot. It was classified as a natural hazard. But the project dates coincide with the attacks. That can't be a coincidence. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Bye. Okay. Let's read some things. Sesmos, ice dwarf world composed entirely of frozen water. Normally a planetoid this small would not rate inclusion on the system's charts, but its unusually large and beautiful ring of ice crystals has made it a popular subject for visual artists. The ring is a result of glancing equatorial impact which left a large trench and then threw a great deal of melted water into the atmosphere. Isn't melted water just water? The rings are a temporary feature that will completely decay in a few thousand years. Junkro. A hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sodium, like Uranus, in the Sol system, it's tipped on its side, the North Star, a North Pole facing the star Newton. A rock and ice planet with an atmosphere composed of chlorine and argon, the frozen surface is mainly composed of potassium with deposits of iron. Why is iron capitalized and not potassium? Clenary is famously claimed by the eccentric Volus billionaire Kumon Shul. He claims that a vision of a higher being told him to seek the lost crypts of beings of light. These entities were supposedly created at the dawn of time to protect organic life from from synthetic machine devils. Shell has been excavating on Clenary's toxic surface for two decades at great expense. No government has valued the world enough to evict this small army of mercenaries. Scans of the planet reveal the cockpit of a trading vessel. There are no signs of the rest of the ship, but we found some writing. Antaram. Though the surface is uncomfortably hot, its nitrogen oxygen atmosphere and abundant shallow seas makes it an ideal candidate for habitation by most species. Unfortunately, the orbit of the moon Thonal has been slowly decaying since the system coalesced. Its proximity is beginning to have tidal effects, and its dynamo-like revolution through Ontarium's magnetic field is generating increasing powerful electric storms. While some have suggested emplacement of Mass Effect drives in an attempt to lighten the moon and correct its orbit, the scale of such a project, tens of thousands of drives costing enough to bankrupt the government of all Citadel races, makes it a pipe dream. A multiracial effort is underway to catalog and preserve the unique genetic diversity of its young biosphere. I feel like I'm missing something.
Because the planet that I'm looking for is not here. For Garrus' thing, did I finish my Drag Race UK watch? I did not. I got to the finale and did not start the finale. But I do believe like the final three are the correct final three, and I'm surprised they eliminated somebody during the family makeover challenge because that's usually atypical. A lot of grass here. The finale is one of the worst episodes. Well, the thing is that I know who wins already. I know who wins already, and I just don't like the person. So, like, I don't really care for the finale because of how smug the person is, and they, they, they don't seem like a person that I am rooting for to win. You didn't know how Baga survived the makeup challenge? Personality. The fuck are these things? Ill. I don't know. Looks untrustworthy. Maybe it's because... The other girl is a lot worse, and she has a name. Cheryl Hull. You know, definitely won lots of challenges. It's unclear what happened to this Turian. He had an ancient paper book with the Bostra insignia printed on the cover. I mean, Cheryl was like a funny commentator, but not... enough polish to win the whole thing. If I were to choose Baga between Baga and Cheryl, I would choose Baga because who's gonna entertain me? It's gonna be Baga. You're excited to see Baga back on All, All Stars International with some money behind her. Does she have new lips and face? I don't... Does she need it? If you're just a funny girl, like, I don't... Maybe, like, a well-done wardrobe, perhaps? Who knows? But I get a lot of sincerity out of Baga. What really hurt me, though, was how much we didn't understand the relationship between Baga and her mother, which took a little bit um, from that ep me enjoying that episode, it was a lot of cringe. Cheryl should have left in the lip sync against Blue. Cheryl being the judge saved her. Except, uh, except Blue is like one note. And I guess so is Cheryl. They're both one note. God damn it, not this shit again. You'd rather have seen blue in the makeup challenge since she's a makeup queen? Imagine having the excuse of not having done other people's makeup as the reason why you would be bad in the challenge. Whatever. I'm not pressed.
Oh, so... So what? What did I do? Oh, it should be oh hi. <laughs> I'm like, did I fuck up? Is he dead yet? Baga got new lips and filler after the season? Come on, money. I didn't mean to explode it. I meant to leave. Ow. Happy Mother's Day weekend. I mean, Memorial Day weekend. This is a silo that does nothing. She's unrecognizable now. Some might say I'm unrecognizable between the, the before and after photo that I put on the Facebook. I mean, the Instagram. I don't use Facebook. What am I talking about? Is this all side quest day? Yes. It's going to be mainly character side quests, and then I, f I feel like the next one is going to be the finale for this game. Bag has been on every other reality show in the UK. Oh, there's a lot of fuckers here. Just, just kidding. You know, I didn't upgrade my squad yet. Oh, there's nothing to give them. Maybe they need equipment? They don't need equipment. Somebody's shooting somebody. Whatever, I shot him from the <laughs> on his wrist. She got icicled. Trying not to shoot from the hip. He has a regen knockover and it's kind of annoying. Oh, he's dead. I don't know, bro. Alright, they're all dead. Just took me a long time. Area secured. Mm-hmm. That's the button. I couldn't remember. V for healing.
Hello, dead person. Oh. Unusable door. Stay back. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please. He's a madman. Mr. Tombs, you're insane. You need help. Pat it's Toomey? Corporal. Corporal Tombs. You don't get to lie. Not today. Satan. Today it all comes out. There's a big drama in Drag Race Down Under with Rue calling out the queens for doing... <gasps> That's some shenanigans doing blackface. It, was, it wasn't Ariana Grande, was it? What are you talking about? Why do you want to kill this man? Want? What I want is my life back. I, I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Akuz? Can't you see the tombs is crazy? Shoot him! Can I kill them both? But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was Oh, I was thought she did out. it on the show, not... The Thresher Maws. Previously the with photos. Were studying them. Oh they boy. let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. You're killing them because they killed your unit. You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. And a big the dick. Rest of the unit died. And a fat and ass. I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. We swore an oath when we put on this uniform. Would our unit want revenge or justice? I hadn't thought of it like that. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe but what about all the other people you killed? I don't know. I do, it doesn't. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Toom stares morosely at the four lost in his memories. You give the scientists a shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take it from here. So is that not the correct mission? Thanks for the money. I was trying to do Garrus's mission. Wait, why is there still an exclamation point here though? Will that go away? Crashed probe, I've been there. Terrain wreckage, I've been there. I can pick up whatever mining thing is down here. You're still not sure if Rue filmed in person or not? Every shot seems like they cut her into every shot. They must have cut her into the shots. That was the sole survivor background quest? Ooh. I'm trying to find the, the Garrus quest, side quest. It was... I was told to come to the Kepler Verge. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne. Seems so silly. Why didn't they do that for Drag Race Canada? Uh, I guess in the pecking order, it's... US, UK, 
Australia, and then everything else doesn't deserve a RuPaul. Oh, it's fucking down here? The place I was supposed to go didn't even appear on the map. Message coming in. Patching it through. I had to move Commander, the cursor. I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are. Michelle was able to fly there to film, shields. but maybe she came from London, read the U.S. I have no idea. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll take the biotics down, Admiral. And I'll try to limit the Is casualties. Is this the same as the Garrus mission or something Admiral. separate? I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Tangle. Matol. Klugan. Fedelele. Fedelele. Klo Cloica. A massive terrestrial world nearly twice the size of Earth with a, a dense atmosphere of nitrogen and ethane. Scorching hot surface is mainly composed of iron, lowercase i, with extensive deposits of heavy metals and radioactives. It's a mineralogical treasure trove, and many corporations are lobbying for mineral rights. Matol. Several attempts to chart it have been made, but none have been successful. By normal standards, a small rock planet, it has a dense atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and argon with a surprising amount of water vapor. Fogs and rain are common on the barren, lifeless surface. It's pleasant enough to be considered a terraforming prospect, though its low mass and high radiation of the energetic blue star Herschel place it fairly far down on the list. Kologon. Hydrogen helium atmosphere is given a fairly dramatic emerald tint by chlorine and ionized gases. It's nearly it has nearly 100 moons. Cloaca is a moderately sized terrestrial world with a hazy hydrocarbon atmosphere. Its surface is mainly composed of chlorides with deposits of solid and liquid form hydrocarbons. MS Fedele Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. In addition to the standard cargo bay, the hull has several biological research modules attached. Private owner, Dr. R.R. Hart. Please take Garrus with you. Kaiden, show me your cock. Did I say that? Sorry. I saved him. This music sounds very Breath of the Wild. How do I know which cunts to kill? Cunt to kin. Test subject. Ew. 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 Ill. Ill. New Zealand at the time probably wouldn't let anyone into. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? In the ass. You're back, your PC died, and then you got distracted. It's all good. I finally made it to 
the planet that I'm supposed to be on. It's not even a planet, it's a space station. Space! The final frontier. <coughs> I uninstalled this one program that helps me use and share my mouse between my two computers. And... I haven't had a system-wide crash since, so I think I found the culprit that was causing my UI to lock up. So I've since found a, a different piece of software. But since I'm a quote-unquote pro user because I have more than- Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first. Synergy. Synergy was causing my computer to lock up. And so I downloaded a different program called Share Mouse. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! He's just running away. That was... satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Ceylon's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species, pale blue, violet, and orange, and more than a few dark red, but his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. Not until I steal shit! I'm raising my son with the evil habit? He's my child? Synergy's finicky, but you would always exit it before playing anything. Even if I had it exited, it would still... I don't know, maybe the service in the background was fucking things up? So I downloaded Share Mouse, which is an equivalent, but that thing has a pro version because I use more than more than one monitor and it costs a hundred and thirty dollars for a license. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. It makes you restart the program every 30 minutes. So I'm kind of just like, how do I work around this? I'm not paying a hundred dollars when I can just remote desktop into something. If you spare the scientist, you tell him he's going to jail and he's like, nah man, and runs exactly the same way and shoots at me anyways. Fuck like that scientist. He tried to lie and I'm like, dude, the subtitles say that you're that salacious cunt that I need to kill. So we killed him. Why am I getting 30 frames a second? The fuck is going on here? Hold up, I'm gonna figure out why I'm getting like ass frames right now. Why is Origin- oh, Origin has to be open because this is an EA game. Look, I'm getting bad frames again. The fuck? Uh, let me kill a program. It might be my mouse sharing software again? Did I just notice this now? Time to kill the service. Nope, I'm still getting shitty frames. Maybe it's just the ship. 
But this is this is I've never gotten 30 frames a second this entire time until this area. I'm back to 60. That was weird. I'm going to go pee. So was there like a no special reward for doing that? For doing Garrus's side quest? Ship? Risky stuff. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. I'm not as crazy as everyone thinks. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. I just What if I go back to the Citadel? Now. Will there be like something interesting? You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make Yeah, I did cry, the mutiny. Shepherd. They forced me to do the mutiny. I've got some unfinished business with my family. But that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Who has it? Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. Including Krogan testicles? Selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family. I spent a lot of the time, at a lot of my time over just the tell weekend, me where to start looking. I'll upload the data annotating to my. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. So long, Rex. My YouTube videos. So if you go look at the playlists. Hi, David. <laughs> look over there. So if you look at my YouTube videos that I, I've uploaded, the descriptions have specifications of locations or chapters. Chapters in the case of Xenoblade Chronicles. Locations in the case of Final Fantasy 7 VII and 10. So it's a lot easier. So it's a lot easier to find. Um, if you want to see a specific thing that happens in the game. Argos Real Cluster. Did I not want to talk to Garrus again? He has something to say? David, you finally got a titty photo out of me. <laughs> I can't believe we stole the Normandy. I mean, I'm not surprised after everything you've told me, but still. Boobs on main when you get on Twitter. 
You'll have to tell me when you do. It's been so long, I've missed you. You sound worried, Garrus. You just did his quest. No, they may have a conversation after those. If he's wrong, he's not talking about it. He's talking about the if ship. right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Look, he has the oh. Commander, I. What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn. We're getting close. Here. I wish I had your confidence. I know you're doing it. If there's anything else I can do to help, anything. Just. I understand you your concern. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the council might be protecting Sarah? Yes. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. They're still they dragging their fucking heels. They're not even sending me in. To act. You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. I so mean, Saren is he literally... Or the council might let him what go. is that static if shock? We find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a specter. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nothing special. Just the dialogue that we got after we went. Hope that felt good. I'm lost. Argos Row! That was so hard to see. What I really want to have happen is for me to finally get lower abs so that I can like stop e being agitated <laughs> from eating like nothing. Sun blasted terrarial world where the atmosphere is blasted away a millennia ago by the star Phoenix. Its surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of iron with deposits of tin. Due to its relatively low density, potassium is tightly locked to Phoenix. Seas of molten light metals cover much of the sunward side. I don't know what Samarium is. Sil Salto? No remarkable features, just salt. Two asteroid belts. Vebinok, a small terrestrial world, thin atmosphere of Krypton and Xenon. Surface is mainly composed of carbonaceous material, water, water ice, and low density silicates. Rare but concentrated loads of light metals have been deposited by asteroid impacts. One hemisphere is covered by surface deposits of oxidized copper. Approximately 270 years ago, a Turian bulk gas transport was attacked by pirates in the Phoenix system. Damaged, it has made a rough landing on Robinox. Oh, I don't care. What I really want to do is eat cereal. I, I really want to eat cereal. <laughs> An enormous low-density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium, and despite being 20 astronomical units from Phoenix, this, why are we using astronomical units? That's like the the diameter of Earth. The star's great heat and the insulating thickness of the atmosphere make the surface surprisingly temperate. The crust is mainly composed of sodium and silicon dioxide with deposits of various light metals, and while Tintao is not habitable, the relative pleasantness of the surface conditions make it a popular location for small sh ships traveling through the Argos Rope Cluster to land for dry discharge.
Imagine if I let Rex die the last time around, we wouldn't be able to do his side mission. Hidden structure, anomaly, Debris. A lot of split splash going on off of these tires. Isn't this a wonderful sound? This looks like water. Is it gonna kill me? No. It's not water. It's shadow. <laughs> from the mountains. Whose butt plug is this? God damn it. I need to just sell shit. I forget about that. A lot of money. marinade my meat yet. Oh, this sucks. I was supposed to marinate my meat, but then I went and showered and washed my sheets and put on new sheets. What the fuck is this? The Luxor? Can I even climb on this? Whoa! The galaxy map music is so good. The galaxy map music apparently gets me claimed on YouTube. Where's the capsule at? There is a lot of 
tiny pixel activity going on in this snow. That's probably killing my bitrate. You never marinate anything. What am I cooking? I'm cooking bone-in skin on chicken breast, and that requires marinating. Because it is the most flavorless piece of meat because there's no fat in it. It's so lean. I'm having titty meat tonight. Because, you know, I'm trying to cut more weight, so I'm staying lean, mean, and away from... Excessive amounts of carbohydrates, but I'm getting the hard uh, hydrocarbates. What the fuck am I talking about? Carbohydrates When I need them Because if I don't have them then exercise would be very difficult And there's no way in hell that I'm going to do cardio because I have broken knees Doesn't look scalable, does it? Oh, it turns out it's scalable. Oh, here we are. Anybody else want to die? I just shot through my ship. <coughs> I did not mute as well as I thought I did. Place. My armor's here somewhere. I don't even use that one. I use barrier all the time. Throw is something I should use more often. Sure, decryption's at 100. Let me boost electronic. Good enough for me. I just did menuing, so I'll save. No sense standing around. How loud? Yeah, we see them somewhere. Hi, pirates. How is this dude like fucking killing me? I don't, I don't like this. I've never used this. Holy shit. Ton Actus? It's a name. 
My punching does nothing. I just want to ADS. I don't know, dude. Powering up. Go, go, go. Oh, I blew myself up too with that shot. Very smart. Talia, get out of the way. People, people, please. I don't know why they don't get knocked down. Is it the shotgun is ass or what? It might be ass. Oops, sorry Rex. Who's next? Where is this fucker? Up here? Who is this little pussy? The lentil doll you made ended up being a quick rush and you're upset with it? You don't have to rush? I would have just taken a different time to cook it. Shut up. Shut up. Hard. Hard my ass. Uh, turns out your armor is not in this room, brother. I am too pussy to make any kind of Indian food, even with the recipe because I do not trust myself with their spice blends. Should I just blow these up? Nah. I'd rather have like someone make it for me. You underestimated how long run long how long red lentils needed to cook and some still have their bite. Their overall dish is fine and edible. A lot of beans need soaking before cooking. There's a lot of shit here. All right, before I open up more shit, I need to junk some equipment. This game is crazy. How do I choose? Fucking hate the inventory management in this.
Such an interesting culture thing because you've never soaked a bean? That was it. You usually soak brown and green lentils because other recipes didn't require the red lentils to soak with something that you thought told you to. Sometimes you just have to trust your instincts about cooking. That's what they try to test on the great British baking show when they do the technical challenge. No soggy bottoms here! Am I a soggy bottom or just a bottom? Whatever, I don't know. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't know where my soul is. All I know is that this thing is annoying. To watch me click on things. This is just like when I had to delete save files in Bioshock because I would save so much so often. The way I haven't upgraded these things. This is it. Oh my god, I'm not prepared I can't for that. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Rex touches his grandfather's armor. His expression, thoughtful perhaps? Krogan are hard to read. Then he shakes off his bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. Can I equip it on him? Nope. Yeah, a lot of these areas are cookie cutter. Cookie cutter. Cookie cutter. Because I've seen this layout before. But maybe they do that because it's a space modular thing? Perhaps. So that's Rex's little side quest. I was really hoping for a little bit more character exposition, but I guess that we get that from talking to them initially. Completing the side quest doesn't really do much, and I'm surprised. Oh, hi, Ashley. Commander, 
Things got heated back on Vermeyer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. You respected me going back Just from an sure old save and making sure that you stayed alive? Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. You're so intrigued now googling soaking beans, but you don't think you'll pick up the habit? It's not like a terribly difficult thing to do if uh, you do it ahead of time or do it overnight. It just, it also helps to cook the beans faster. Hold up, let me make sure that I completed the prerequisite mission for this. I did not. All right, let me look up how I'm, how I'm supposed to do that. I have to go to the Armstrong cluster. And it's in four parts. Love this for me. Well, when I remember to soak my brown rice, I, I do it, but it's a pain in the ass to soak things and remember to soak things when I don't remember to do things until I'm hungry. I have to go to the Armstrong Cluster. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy? Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. I'm on it, Admiral. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Okay, so I have to go to Gaga, Gagami? Gagami Daddy? I'm just gonna do it in the order that this guy tells me to do it because I'm too lazy to remember. Do I want to read all these planets? Not really. I think I'm done reading for today. But let me survey. Part of you wants to go back in the kitchen and make chana masala, but you already had so much protein today with the doll and the tempeh. You can have more protein. You. You're allowed to have more protein. I'll read that one because we we will land there. Rayengri, a small barren terrestrial world while it possesses a reasonably temperate climate and number of useful resources. No mining corporation is willing to risk investment. A rogue planetoid dubbed Vats by the initial Solarian surveyor team entered the system approximately 10,000 years ago and is trapped in a decaying orbit around Rainiergi. It is nearing the end of its slow spiral inwards. Earthquakes and cyclonic windstorms are increasingly common. Within a few hundred years, the planet will rip each other apart. The planets. Some Asari travel consortiums have already announced sponsorship of cruises to observe the spectacle. This is supposed to be for Tali. Okay, Liar. You want to join? 
Okay, ladies, now let's get information. Coordination. I have to visit like five planets. I'm not looking forward to it. This is an annoying way for me to go around and get to things. Why would they point me at the sun moon thing? Also, the speed boost should be constant. I don't like this baby cooldown thing. How did the crashed probe survive re-entry? Oh my fucking god! Do the thing! Why won't it salvage? Do I have to reload it? Oh, I had to reload it. Fucking ass. Hello, planet. There's a mining thing up there, but I'm not sure if it's worth it with the way I'm driving. Asian driver coming through! Beep beep! The way I am so pleased that I don't have to drive in New York City. Although, I kind of miss driving. I don't know what it is about car culture. I, I, I do kind of want a Ford F-150 Lightning because the engineering excites me. The battery technology, the... how it has two motors to power the front and back wheels separately, I think are really cool and neat. The storage capabilities are cool. I really don't need a truck. The only thing I see it being useful for, I don't even see it being useful for like volleyball tournaments. It might be a comfy interior, maybe good for tailgating, but I don't even really go to football games. 
I'm not really big on NFL or college football. The ability for it to power a home for three days is cool, but I don't have the money to buy a house and to install the system that's required in order to route electricity from the vehicle to the house. I'm a little bit worried about the infrastructure being present though in order to do some of the more lengthy trips that are, might possibly be required to use it in terms of like it, ha it requires extensive planning to make sure that wherever rest stops you take either a place to eat or a place to sleep has a supercharger to get enough miles to go somewhere and then another concern that i have about electric vehicles is the the battery and how it if it does catch on fire that it will be very difficult to do anything about it because it's a self-starting fire. Even if you get rid of all of the oxygen, the chemical reaction of a lithium ion battery, if I believe, is it a lithium ion battery for those e EV electric vehicle batteries, is that the chemical reaction of the, what is it? Cation and anion? creates oxygen when it is burning. So it's a self-sustaining chemical reaction. So you remove all the oxygen, doesn't matter, it creates its own oxygen source to proceed with combustion. Oh, how nice of them to have little markers for me to follow. Nice noise. Ew. What's that sound over here? Rocks falling? Don't like it. That's where they 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 turn the the people into those husks. You were soaking beans thing? You made a poll on Twitter? You're cooler than me. You know, once I get done with streaming, I'll retweet it. See how much traction we get. One person said yes, three people said depend on the bean. How you like your eggs? I want them to come at me. Maybe you're gonna die. What gun did I give them? <laughs> She's using a pistol? It's fine. And they're all dead. Good job, team! I was doing some knee rehab today and my knee is feeling a lot better. There is still some slight weakness 
when I go from extension to what is the opposite of extension? I can't remember. I should know this. See, this is what happens when I don't have enough carbohydrates in my system. My memory goes like trash because your brain has uses lots of glycogen. Are they just floating around? Are they geth in here? Yeah, fuck that. Yo, they know how to use doors and shit? So... There are people on the other side of this. Because I just saw more enemies appearing on my radar. They're gonna come from behind and I did not consent. But I took all this shit. Yeah, I hear them fucks. I want a different gun, please. I didn't kill him, my, my comrades killed him. Comrade General. Where's that laser cunt? I just pressed R to reload and there's no reloading in this game. Ow. I'm coming after you, bitch. In the dick. It's over now. I don't even need it. All right, let's get out of here. The geth are gone. I'm breathing heavily. I had to do this fucking three, four more times. God, I hate this. The fuck? I don't know. I'm getting into my car and I'm gonna shoot them. I'm stuck. What the fuck? I'm actually stuck. Three more outposts to go. The first step in a long journey. <laughs> Press an F. <laughs> Your body's been sore. It might be from overstretching. It's important to do the opposite of stretching. 
because when your muscles have lengthened so much, they don't ever contract again. So you have to practice the contraction to relax the muscles. So it's not always about stretching. Sometimes it's about compression. This planet wants to kill somebody? Rock the Caspin. Classical pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those on Earth millions of years ago. Its hot, humid atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An increasing amount of the surface is covered by simple lichen and algae. Should no unexpected calamity occur, these tiny planets will change the atmosphere into an Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Due to its potential for future habitability and sapient life, it's been designated a sanctuary world by the Citadel Council. Landing is prohibited by law, and any disturbance of the fragile young atmosphere will result in harsh fines and imprisonment. Imprison me, honey. At the present, the, pass, the planet is passing through a debris trail of a long period comet. This place is quite ominous. The asteroids falling down and the sounds that are raping my ear, I don't know if I'm a fan of it. Please, game, I do not care. Up, 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 like it's stuck. Okay, the god rays are cool. Is it really just that post? Oh my god. Buried under the beacon was an ID tag for Captain Thane. No indication of why it was hidden here or why it was buried in the first place! This planet is ass! Actual ass! Who the fuck thought it would be fun? Let's build a planet with canyons so you can't fucking traverse it even though I have a fucking rocket ship! It'll be fun!
There's something for me to shoot? Can't even see anything, anybody else there. They don't expect me to have ant vision. All I know is that this shit's blurry and I'm good. I'm like fucking Thelma and Louise right now. God. What, can ants not see? Or is it like a... En route. A reference to Zoolander. It's tiny as fuck. Are you talking about my dick and balls? Like a shitty bounty castle. The Geth Array transmitting regular data bursts on an encrypted channel and using the Alliance's own faster than light communications buoys. It's not clear where the data is being directed nor the content of the signal. Turn it off. Like a light switch, just go click. It's a cool little Mormon trick. We do it all the time. When you're feeling certain feelings that just don't seem right. Turn those pesky feelings off like a reading light. And turn it off. Like a light switch, just go boom. Uh, something lyrics from the Book of Mormon musical. Oh, fuck. Well, I see a deposit over there. Might as well just go. So when do I get hit by an asteroid? That would be lovely right now. As long as it completes the rest of these running around in the Mako trash missions, I'm good. That's why I'm supposed to split these up into segments between the story missions. I do side quests between the story missions. I just didn't know this was a prerequisite to get to tally stuff. And this is like 
the second stream in which I've done strictly. Oh. Side quest. It's worth doing all the assignments. I won't be doing that. Oh, hi, ship. Oh! I mean, I'm literally in a car with a lot of shield. Why don't you attack me, dropship? <laughs> this is so stupid. Apparently there are a lot of mods for the original release. One of them streamlines assignments into the one that only have impacts on the other games. I don't know what the... Uh... Okay. Um... I think we're done here. Time to go to Antiba. It's worth doing all the assignments if I plan to play the whole trilogy. Not in a row. Not. Not in a row. Tickle juice. It's worth doing eventually. I won't. Cold terrestrial world with an atmosphere of methane and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of iron with deposits of magnesium. The world has been noted as a possible target for long-term terraforming. If the atmosphere could be increased to the thickness of the Earth's, the global average temperature would rise by 10 degrees Celsius. Its combination of low temps and high speeds and low visibility make it dangerous to explore on foot. For some reason, games like this always struck you as laborious and mechanically nauseating, especially when they're non-linear. It's fine. Do you think I'll play Mass Effect 2 and 3? I will eventually, just not immediately after this gameplay. And I haven't even fully figured out if I'm going to play Final Fantasy 15 immediately after this, or if I'm going to dick around and try to beat something on the SNES that I've never beaten before. Because that'll be another long playthrough, and I'm not a... I like to break up the long playthroughs with little short games that are digestible. Why can't I shoot rockets at this? You were worried I wasn't going to plan on totally doing it, but you agree on a break. 
I mean, I haven't played any sequels on my stream, and I think the first one that I'll ever do is X2. If I embark on doing sequels. And you can see the list of games that I want to play on the About section of my Twitch channel. Die. You did not die. Please die. Now you are dead. Go away. Look at all these dead bodies. I parked on a dead body. The vehicle and human corpses show the telltale signs of Geth weapons fire. The Geth have been mangled by the Thresher Maw. At least they got what was coming to them. She had it coming. Just lead the way. I'm here if you need me. Go in the fucking car! She only had... What the fuck is this X that moves around? It's like following me. What the fuck is this? Prothean Ruin? This is something different. Are you gonna have a premonition? Huh? That's a raven? You discover a Prothean data disk it must have been dropped by one of the mini Thresher Ma's victims. So X2 will probably be one of the first ones I play. And it also just depends on if there's like a break in games that aren't like new games. Which I think there has been because of the pandemic. Lots of development has been slowing down. Oh, fuck. I'm like, is it worth it for me to try to play something like The Legend of Zelda? A link to the past. Would I be able to finish that in like five days? I don't know how long it takes to finish that game. Because knowing me, and this is given that I'm playing it for like two hours a day. Are you fucking kidding me? This game is so bugged. Fuck, there's no map? Oh, but I'm facing the right direction anyways. Thank you, other map that tells me the direction of my vehicle, even though my radar is jammed. F uh, Final Fantasy X-2 has a lot of content that will hold me over if you want to collect all the spheres and achieve 100%. Yeah, I'm not doing 100%. Is this joint? Oh. Thank you. 
X2 is also just iconic. Like, the only side quests I like doing are the ones that provide story bits, because those are the only things that lately have been getting me into games, either that or, like, good mechanics. Who's not even facing me? Fun. We're doing this again? Look at this big bitch. Just one more outpost left. That was not difficult. You don't know if the mechanics will be too enjoyable, but you thought it was a cool concept. As long as there's story and it doesn't get too repetitive, I'll be okay. Collect all the Crimson Spheres and complete episodes. I just need things to build up on each other, and I really hope there's a segment where... ...somebody jumps off of a ship. Yeah, I went through my entire Final Fantasy X playthrough and noted every single location that I go to. So if you want to watch my Final Fantasy VII playthrough from last year, and you want to see the part where I cry like a baby, that's notated. It's been annotated. The chapter is marked. End of part one. Maji orbits the Vemishi binary giant stars. Vemishi A is a blue star of spectral class A4 something, which burns at half again the temperature of the sun. It's an aging red giant over 220 times the size of Sol. It has a thin atmosphere of methane and carbon monoxide. Don't breathe, you'll die and won't know you're dead until you die. The difference in temperature between the hemispheres facing the suns and that facing deep space causes constant wind stirring the silica and sodium dust of the surface. Unsavory characters from Terminus systems occasionally use Maji for forms of cruel sport, dumping slaves, hostages, quarreling shipmates, or even vicious animals on the surface. One must kill the other before they will be rescued from the lethal radiation of the giant stars. Sounds very similar to Doom. At some point, I will learn what dress spheres are. Once I get to that game. Maybe that's the game I should play next instead of 15. I don't know. I have to think on it. How long is X2 supposed to take to complete anyways? It's not long. Like how many hours? I didn't even go to this one, I'm fucking dumb. 12 hours? So that's... Six, six streams or so? You can breeze through it, but you'll miss out on a lot of story stuff. Because I would like to get at least one sequel out of the way.
This little fuck? Looks like a person. It's not even a person, it's like a beacon thing. What the fuck? This is me... ...trying to fuck someone's tight... ...pussy. I apologize. Strange looking sensor has some ancient graffiti scribbled on it. It seems to be marked with the Edessian colony insignia. Massive skull oil is scored by deflected mass accelerator shots. The xenobiology files in my hard suit computer can't identify the species. It must have been brought here from an unknown world. Maybe it's longer than 12 hours now that you're looking at it. It's not a particularly long game as long as I stick to the main stuff. My Final Fantasy X stream took... 18 parts? At roughly... 3 hours a stream? <laughs> Cause the final... Area took me 5 hours to do because I just could not beat my dad. He kept... Beating me. Just eat it, eat it. No one wants to be defeated. Oh no. Depends on what I want from inside West can get me stronger clothes. I know there's a bitch here. And another bitch here? can't even fucking see her. So let me give a shout out to Jaghat for helping me with this list of side quests to do because I would not have done that on my own. Because I wanted to get some slight exposition for the other party members. Since I really have not done much for them, and since there are character based side quests, I figured that that's something that I should do before doing the final mission in this game. He is an icon, he is a legend, and he's the proud owner 
of a PS5. So proud of him. Ashley Simpson? You want a piece of me, piece of me. Oh wait, that's not Ashley Simpson. That's Brittany. I have sinned. If I'm wrong again, you can unsub or I'll gift the sub or whatever the fuck. It's Brittany, okay. I don't know why I thought about Ashley Simpson. Her ho downing, ho down, ho down, ho downing, ho downing, ho downing, ho down. During her little SNL debacle. Fun. Camp. She should be president. Oh, party. Towing down. That sounds better. You know me, I I want to hoe down. I expect one of these outposts to be the main base of operations for this incursion. Hold on. This receiver's picking Can't even up some see Garrus. How does Garrus even see through Based that helmet? Signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside the star cluster. Inside the it must star be a message cluster? From the primary Geth base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and take them out. Where did they teleport me? They took me out of the vehicle to have the dialogue. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do Tally's quest right now. I'm kind of like hitting my limit. Let me just unlock her quest, and then I'll do it the next stream. Benda. Sounds like what some of y'all want to do to me. long not a ban not a banjo so I determined that if I do ban someone from my stream I will play banjo because ban is in the word banjo Din din. Din din. Soul Crumb is the largest moon of the gas giant, not a ban. It has a trace atmosphere of Krypton and Xenon. The crust is composed of various metals with deposits of sodium. Nah. As with everybody in the solar system. Oh. As with everybody in the solar system, the surface is scorching hot and thoroughly irradiated by the blue giant Grissom. Surface excursions without proper protective gear are certain to prove fatal. On approach to Nataban, the Normandy's passive solar sensor array intercepted a fragmentary coda transmission from the surface of Solcrum. Attempts to decrypt the message were fruitless. It does not appear to be in any software coding language used by the Citadel races.
fucking map is broken. God, did they not fucking test this game and just like compiled it with better textures and that's it? They just said, ah, oh, we're good. We're going to release the trilogy for $60. I guess it is a trilogy and not like just one single game. So it's better than what they could have attempted. All that for this fucking box. Vroom vroom. I'm me in me mom's car. <laughs> Get out me car. Uh, is that supposed to be something from Peppa Pig? <laughs> Or is the reference just like totally lost on me? It's a vine? No. Imagine if it was Peppa Pig! Should I use the subjunctive mood and say what if it were? I'm in my mum's car. Broom, broom. Get out of my car! Aww. <laughs> I remember you showing me this before, but it's just something I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason why I just like removed it from my brain. I'm in my mum's car. Broom, broom. How are they doing? Get out in the car! How are they doing? The only joke I've made is to Asian drivers, which I've done on multiple occasions. It's a bit now. Oh, they're trying to get into acting? That's cool. It probably works well. Some dry comedy. Now that Vine has been replaced by TikTok. Party. Fine, maybe I'll care. There's a person I'm trying to peg. There's a person I'm trying to peg. Yeah, I said it.
Get out my car! Get out my car! Oh no! Who am I? Am I running for governor? I'm Caitlyn Jenner. I don't know shit. Loud. Ow. Kaiden is alive. Whoa, look at him. He can escape. Yeah, shoot Kaiden right in the face. Kaiden, go die. Kaiden's dead. Warm up. Heading to position. Not you, laser bitch. <laughs> Fucking rocket power. Who's running at my pussy? As the last guest falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, Aquarian stands before a hushed crowd, a warbling, mournful acapella of worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched into the guest worlds beyond the Perseus veil. The transmitter shuts down. Did I just, uh, uh I don't know what I did. Is it that loud to open and shut? Why is this game so fucking loud today? You discover a number of encrypted Geth data files. In the proper hands, they could reveal much about the evolutions of the Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. No. Please. Let me in. Okay, make a drink or make a drink. Make a drink. Make make me drink. Wow, th this is ass. I came all the way up here, and there's fucking nothing here. <sighs> Infinite run, please, speed. And chapstick mod, please. Win. When? All right, there's one more side quest left to do next stream, and then I'll get on with finding that conduit thing that everyone's so 
worried about and uptight about and the Citadel and that council crash, trash and shotgunning and I'm gonna use this. Be right back with the beer! Do you miss Shepard's ass? Well, now you get my ass instead. So, this, this is the beverage. This is the beverage inside of the thing that I got from MIT today. Thank you. It's really cute. I'm really happy I have this. It can go along with my collection of other koozies, but I won't be drinking it like that because that is not how a shotgun is done. Also, this is like my first alcoholic beverage since the last time someone made me shotgun on stream, which was 10 days ago. I haven't had beer in 10 days. Because why? I'm trying to get skinny. This is only 100 calories and I have a 100 calorie buffer and it's mostly like liquid anyways and empty calories. So I'll just do some extra cardio tomorrow. Not today, I already went to the gym. Cheers. <clears throat> Holy fuck. I'm out of practice. Ugh. Oh yeah. Look at the bottom of the cozy. It has the MIT logo on it. Anyways, y'all. Tomorrow the plan is doing Tali's mission and then continuing on with the rest of the game. Depending on how long it is, I don't know if I'm going to just like straight up plow through it and take like the three or four hours to finish the game. I haven't really had an extended stream with this game in a while. Or just in general, I don't think I've gone. I maybe I've hit the three hour mark before, like the first or second time I stream the game. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow at 530. Eastern because you know what I've been waking up at nine o'clock I've been waking up between nine and ten o'clock which is crazy for me because that's not typical also I have some work that I'm supposed to do tomorrow I told my co-worker that I would get her something done by tomorrow so I'm gonna work on that a little bit tonight since I mean I'm not working that much anyways so I'm, I'm not pressed about doing some work today and it's something that I really want to get done because it's something for a really big project that's going to take until at least we're scheduling all the way through November, April. And it's largely between me and the other developer on the team. So that's really exciting for me. 
because now there will be some programming stuff that I'll be doing. And it's something that I have, I've had in mind of doing for my job for like the last three years, three, four years, and now we're finally having to do so or having the, not the impetus, more like all the pieces are falling into place for me to take this kind of project on. So enough about me blabbing about work. I'll see you guys all then. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, follow, subscribe. My new picture on Instagram, especially because I'm vain, which is half the reason why I stream. <laughs> and that I would try to be funny. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go massage and marinate my chicken breasts and throw it in the oven so I have something to eat tonight. Have a good evening. Good night. Bye-bye. Wash your asshole.